Now, if you've been a casual lurker of Wall Street bets for the last few years like I have, then you know that it started off as a bunch of degenerate gamblers, then the community changed to being the saviors of the internet by investing in GameStop stock and making hedge fund managers cry. And then they changed to being taken over by a bunch of rogue mods, and then they settled back to their rightful place of being a pack of shitlord apes. I care. That's it. But during that whole period, there were some investments <clears throat> that either blew up in their face or sometimes just blew up. Bruh. Now, some of these investments got more press than others, but in today's video, I'm gonna be covering some of the well-known ones and also some that you might not know about. We're gonna be going over the best and the worst of Wall Street bets. So sit back, relax, gently tap that like button, and let's jump into it. First one on the list is going to be hate my darn job. This one was last year and he posted a loss of $45,000 with the title, can anyone guess when I discovered options trading? Now you're probably gonna notice a common theme here. Most of the people who lose a ton of money do it with options as well as using margin. Now to be fair, there are ways of option trading that actually reduce your risk. It's just that none of these degenerates use those ways. And basic options trading is almost like a gateway drug to much worse types of trading. Now, the losses on this one aren't astronomical by any means, but I decided to put it at the beginning just because of the fact that it's gonna be a common theme throughout this video. So with this one, I'll go ahead and put it into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be the MD1 or Thesm D1. Now this one was all the way back in 2019. So this is an OG degenerate we're talking about here. Now this person day traded AMD stock for over a year and I couldn't get too many details, but apparently they started off with about $200,000 and ended with over a million. Now that's pretty impressive, over $800,000 gain there. The only thing that's not impressive about it is it wasn't like an all in at once YOLO moment, kind of did it gradually over a year. So for that reason, I'll go ahead and put them into B tier. Next one on the list is McDonald's is my vice. Now this is another options trading story, of course. It was an options story where he started off with $350,000 and he planned on buying a house with that money. He went from $350,000 all the way up to 650,000. And did he sell at that point? Did he realize how unbelievably lucky he was? Of course not. He continued to gamble, I mean, trade options, and of course, he ended up going down to 175,000. So lost almost 400,000 from the peak, and overall lost about $175,000. And the best thing about it is he didn't even tell his wife about what he was doing with the money. Ouch. I guess McDonald's wasn't his only vice. No, all joking aside, this one is kind of sad. This guy obviously has some kind of gambling addiction, and I really hope he gets help. But this one was a really up and down story, so for that reason, I'm gonna have to give it A tier. Next one is going to be C Strife 007. And he lost over $400,000 a month and it was so bad that he actually got a letter from Fidelity. Like imagine a lion is just eating your leg and then they look up at you and they're like, you okay, bro? That's basically what this is. When the company that's profiting from your losses sends you a letter asking you if you're okay, that's when you know you have a problem. This is when you know you need to get some investment help or really just some help in general. All right, this guy is an absolute legend though, getting a letter like that from Fidelity. Um, he handled it really well, obviously. Uh, hope he has plenty of money and he's not running out of it. But yeah, I'm gonna put this one into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be Options 13, and uh, you can probably guess how this guy lost money. Options. Yes, he lost $400,000 in a year trading options on Robinhood. But being on Wall Street Bets is like having your own private support group or cheerleading squad, and they're always gonna help you see the silver lining in anything and make you feel better about being a complete degenerate. Like this comment that said it took him six months to lose that last $2,000. So this one was a pretty big loss, but it did did also happen over a long period of time. So for that reason, I'm gonna put it into D tier. Next one on the list is going to be an absolute legend. This is one that probably everybody knows about and that is deep value. Now I made a whole video on the GameStop incident where this guy basically went from $45,000 to $45 million. This was basically a 1000x gain. Now he ended up not making that much because he pulled out later on, but he still made more money than he can probably ever spend. And he just comes off as a pretty level-headed and likable guy in general. Hey, what's up everybody? Cheers. Happy Friday. Happy holidays. I hope everyone's having a great week. 
Uh, surprise. <laughs> now, I made a whole video on it, but basically what happened is a bunch of rich douchebag hedge fund managers for no real good reason shorted GameStop. And they all basically teamed up on GameStop and shorted it, even though the only reason they were having lots of problems is because of the fact that they relied on foot traffic. And of course, the pandemic was happening, so there was no foot traffic. Now, if you're like me or many other people who grew up playing video games, GameStop has always been an awesome place that we go to in order to look at different video games and sometimes play the consoles. So this really struck a nerve with a lot of people around the internet, and one of them was deep f***ing value. So he decided to go all in on GameStop stock, he explained why he was doing it, and a bunch of other people also decided to do the same. And Wall Street bets basically went to war with the greedy hedge fund managers. And the hedge funds lost big time. They ended up losing billions of dollars, and to this day, people like myself still hold GameStop stock, and I sleep really well every night knowing that I'm still squeezing a little bit of extra money out of some hedge fund managers. This one clearly goes into S tier. In fact, he's really just in a tier of his own. Next one on the list is going to be Rollo One. Now, when it comes to degeneracy, this one is just off the charts. This one is an 11 out of 10. This guy also went in on GameStop stock. He invested $35,000 and that turned into 5 million. And for some reason, he decided not to sell. And this begs the question, is there a number that is possible that that stock could have gotten to that would have caused him to sell? Is it $10 million? Is it a hundred million? Is it a billion? Is it a trillion dollars? He even could have sold off 10% of what he earned and walked away with over $530,000. But no, he decided to hold on and it went down to 300,000. Now, again, I don't know too much about the details here, but from the research I did do, he still walked away with 10X gains. So that's not bad, but he could have walked away with enough money to retire himself, his parents, and send his kids and his grandkids to college easily. Okay, holding is not always the answer. Sometimes you want to take profits. So this guy is just, oh, he's such a degenerate. I'm gonna put him into F tier. Next one on the list is gonna be Admiral Surround 11. Now I take it back. I said that other guy was an 11 out of 10 degenerate. This is even worse. So this guy put $90,000 in out of the money call options that expired in less than two days. Now I know most of the people watching this are not gonna understand what that means at all, but let me just say that the level of stupidity that it takes to do something like this is almost unfathomable. And all you have to really do is read the comments to see what I mean. I think some of my favorite ones are, it warms my heart to see people light $90,000 on fire while I'm just trying to afford dental care. Another one of my favorite comments said, the SEC will use this image to say they need to protect retail investors from themselves. So this guy lost about $60,000 pretty much instantly doing this. Now this wasn't one of the biggest losses on the list. However, it's $60,000 dollars in about two days you know i'm not sure whether to give this one s tier or f tier i mean it's just absolutely horrible i'm gonna go ahead and put it into f tier next one on the list is another one that everyone is probably going to recognize and that is control the narrative so this guy figured out how to exploit a robin hood glitch that turned his two thousand dollars into fifty thousand dollars in borrowed money and then he bet against one of the most consistently successful companies in the world which is apple for basically basically no reason and immediately lost all 50,000 and recorded it live. And his live reaction to losing all of his money created a meme that will never die. <clears throat> Now this guy is an absolute legend. He's a meme, so you gotta put some respect on his name. I tried to look up what happened to him and apparently he basically gave up gambling, I mean trading. And he posted this as a farewell, basically saying that he learned his lesson. Now that was a very expensive lesson to learn and not only did he lose his own money, but he actually went deep into debt. This one has got to go into S tier. All right, next one is gonna be Drakeem514. Another options trading story where an 18 year old went from almost nothing to $100,000, but did they sell? Did they realize that they were incredibly lucky investing in AMC stock at just the right time? Absolutely not. A better name for him would have been Mr. What's an Exit Strategy because he was up big and he ended up losing all of the money and more. So pretty impressive that an 18 year old was able to do that. Hopefully he learned his lesson. I'm gonna go ahead and put the kid into B tier. 
Now, the next one is a little controversial because a lot of people think this person faked their gains, and that is Wall Street Bets God. So he basically went all in on Tesla with call options that expired the next year at just the right time. Then when he saw it skyrocket, instead of pulling his money out, of course, he doubled down on the call options, and he ended up with a portfolio of about $4.5 million from 45,000. But did he quit here and right off into the sun? Absolutely not. He decided to pull what he called the big short after this and later posted that after his big short, he was worth over $16 million. Now, the problem here is he didn't really provide any proof whatsoever that this was his money. He very easily could have just photoshopped it or went into the source code and changed the numbers around. And when confronted about this, it would have been very easy for him to prove that it was real, but he ignored it and decided to not do it. So this one I'm gonna have to put into C tier, although if it was real, this would be an S tier candidate for sure. Next one on the list is going to be Anal Farmer 2. Now, Anal Farmer 2 was a 19 year old that claimed he made about $100,000 doing online business. And he basically pulled the same move we talked about before where he essentially put gasoline on a pile of money and then lit it on fire. The only thing is his moonshot bet actually paid off. His Robinhood account shot up to $343,000. Now, incredibly here, instead of realizing his luck and walking away with his winnings, he decided to make an equally risky play. He dropped $170,000 into spy puts that were expiring the next day. And he earned $277,000 in one minute, and his account went up to $646,000. That's enough money to buy a house or maybe even two outright in cash. So did he pull his money out? Absolutely not. He tried to put gasoline all over his money again and burn it, and this time it actually worked. He lost almost everything and went down to about $40,000. So at the end of the day, he ended up losing 60,000. And at this point, you would think it's the end of the story. He learned his lesson. He lost a ton of his hard-earned money. Nope, he decided to YOLO the last $40,000 too and then ended up losing everything. So this one is just such an amazing story. There's so many ups and downs to it. How can you not give this one S tier? Next one on the list is going to be Irony Man. Now this is a man who thought he found a loophole in the Robinhood system and he basically used box spreads. He started with an initial investment of $5,000 and he used box spreads where if it would have turned out right for him, he could have made up to 37,000. But the downside of doing this is if it didn't turn out right, he could lose up to $500,000. That's right, he could go $500,000 in debt. Now of course it didn't work out for him, but the broker pulled the plug on everything early and he only ended up going 57,000 in debt. Now, when he presented this absolutely degenerate idea on Wall Street Bets, people were trying to convince him to not do it. And here were his famous last words before he executed it. That's not how it works. I have no money at risk. Then he proceeded to lose almost 2000%. And did he learn his lesson? Nope. He never quits and he still trades daily. When it comes to the percentage that he ended up losing compared to what he initially invested, this one takes the cake. And for that reason, it's got to go into S tier. Check out my stockbroker tier list right here if you want to know what I think are the best stock brokerages. And also, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.